Hi guys, Dan Stollers here. A very good evening to you all. I hope you're all well at home. It's time then to look through 250 pounds of 50p coins. Fingers crossed we can find some nice commemorative coins. And fingers crossed we can just find one commemorative coin. Otherwise this could be a little bit of a waste of 10 minutes. Hopefully though we do find some nice commemorative coins. And again, if you don't have any questions, if you want any valuations of coins, please do hit them there in that live chat. And I will get back to you in there. Again, I'd just like to say a huge shout out and a thank you to everyone that is part of the channel. Today we hit 28,000 subscribers, 28,000 family strong. And again, without you amazing people at home, none of this really would be possible. Whilst we look through the bags as well, we'll talk about a few things coming up on the channel over the course of the next couple of weeks. And also going in to the rest of the year as well. And let's start off with the Guest Dance Coin game. Again, a huge shout out to everyone that's playing along. It does look very competitive at the top this year. And again, there will be monthly prizes and also there'll be a prize for the top five every three months. And again, I really do think it is going to be close now on those leaderboards. We're refreshing the overall leaderboard every three months as we find our first coin, the Peter Rabbit, full face half whisker. The main reason we are refreshing the overall leaderboard every three months is to try and keep it fun for new subscribers joining the channel. And again, I do think it's going to be close at the top, unbelievably close last year as we did have a tie for those overall places. And again, you never know, we could have a tie again in the four overall leaderboards going through 2023. Other games that we will be playing on the channel, don't worry, the Last Understanding game will be back in full force. We will get round to playing the game tomorrow. There is a giveaway going to be taking place, and again, a huge shout out to Terence Day and Norman Graham as well. They won both of those prizes, and they wanted to pass them on to other people on the channel, and again, a huge shout out to them both. Coin number two is the Paddington then, outside the Tower of London, one of four different Paddingtons to be released for UK circulation, and two has suddenly become three as we pick up the Johnson's Dictionary. All three of those coins so far worth the face values of 50p, but again, Peter Rabbit full face half whisker there, part of that Beatrix Potter set. Always nice to find a Beatrix Potter original. So we've spoke about two games, there'll be at least two more, maybe even three over the next couple of weeks. We'll be back with the Heads and the Tails game, always nice to play. Also the L's number sequence game, really do have fun with that one. The game though I am super excited to have back on the channel is indeed the Close Up Coins game. The Anton Star is back in full force, got a nice little spot to get it set up. Just been trying to get the light perfect really with that one and also get it hooked up to a laptop. It could well be the most frustrating game for everyone on the channel. Maybe that's why I do like it the most. But again, it is fun and exciting. We're going to get some world coins mixed in as well, just to try and make it a little bit different from round to round, just so we're not looking across the same coins every time. We've picked up the coin that started off the channel, my favourite commemorative 50p. If we don't find any more now, I don't mind. Some of you might at home, but I definitely don't. We've picked up the 2011 World Wildlife Fund 50p coin. A lot of people that aren't into coin collecting, I'm sure have got this coin anyway, just sat at home. They might just love animals, love wildlife. And again, I'm sure a lot of people have kept hold of that one. 2022 is the coin that we see, which therefore means we have hit a commemorative and it is indeed the Queen's Platinum Jubilee 50p coin. Maybe not the greatest design ever, but a commemorative coin nonetheless. So I'm not complaining with that one. Again, we'll be back with the Andon Star close-up coins game. The lighting's perfect. Some of them are going to be zoomed in. But we are definitely, fingers crossed, going to have a little bit of fun with that one. Again, I'd just like to say really apologies for not being here as much over the last couple of months. Just been so busy. Munch? Mumps? Been so busy with the running, just trying to get the training in. Again, the big 50 mile run is in the end of July. I've got a warm up run, 40 miles. That's at the start of May. Plenty more running to be done, up to around 45 miles a week now. So again, we're going to get those out of the way. Week by week, we'll get it done. Don't worry, I'm not going to forget about you all. And again, next month as well, a full month off work. I am not complaining.
We pick up another 2022 coin. We found five of these earlier in one bag. We're back with a pride coin. Six of those today. And again, we've been on fire recently with all three of the 2022 commemorative 50p coins. Whether it's the Charles III coin to commemorate the life of Queen Elizabeth II. The Platinum Jubilee coin and also that pride coin. We're definitely in with them all. And again, looking at coin finds across the channel as well, a lot of people have been finding them, which really is great to see. So difficult to start with with those Jubilee coins. A lot of them on marketplaces, on eBay, also on Facebook, as we pick up a TOG. So many of them just not getting out into circulation, which really is frustrating. It does actually make me rather mad. It's a sport that we all play together, this one, this coin collecting, and everyone should have a fair chance. People from the post offices banks whatever they shouldn't just be selling all these coins takes the fun out of it and again looking at some comments over the last six months or so a lot of people really in the same boat getting quite frustrated they, they're not in the position to be able to go to the post office and bank relying on just the change and again if that is taken away from them it really is going to put a big downer on coin hunting so again this year i really hope high mintage figures 25 million let's get the same as those benjamin bunnies Get them all out there. And again, the higher the mintage figure, the less these coins will be kept by people because they're only going to be worth the face values. No one's going to be hoarding loads of them. More are going to go out to coin collectors. So again, Royal Mint, we know you listen now. Let's get those mintage figures up. No more Shields or Britannias for a year. Let's just have loads of commemorative designs. Four or five, 25 million mintage figures. They're only going to be worth 50p. And I promise you this, 99.9% .9 of them will make it out into UK circulation. So far then, we are on seven commemorative coin finds, and I do think we're around the halfway mark now. Pressing on, let's hope we can try and get over that 10 coin mark. Again, we average two to three commemoratives, usually per £50, so if we can get between 10 to 15 commemoratives from this 250 bag, I do think we have done okay. No super rare coins so far, but the WWF for me has definitely got to be leading the way with my coin find so far. Did write a couple of things down just on my left hand side here to try and talk about to keep the conversation flowing with you all over the 10-15 minutes that it will take. Like I said, I am doing a lot of running this year. Probably going to be the last year that I do crazy things like this. I'll probably still stick to the running, but still don't think I'll be doing 50 miles in a day. Anyway, my question though to everyone at home is, coin collecting to one side, what do you guys at home enjoy? What are your hobbies? What keeps you busy? Maybe it's weightlifting. Maybe it is. Maybe you're even Olympian because we've gone and hit it. Boom, there we have it. It is the weightlifting 50p coin, part of the infamous London 2012 Olympic and Paralympic 50p coin set. We've hit an Olympic it's been a while since we've found one. We definitely do deserve one. Get in there. We're going to back it up with a Beatrix Potter as well. I'm sure a lot of you with an eagle eye would have just seen that one. Let's hope there's more to come. Again, any hobbies that you might have away from coin collecting, let's get them in, the, let's get them in that live chat. What keeps you busy? When you're not watching all these videos here and you're also not busy looking through maybe £250 of coins yourself on a daily basis. Shields and Britannias to finish off that bag. We've hit an Olympic. We're on nine. Not quite made it to the 10 yet. But an Olympic 50p. Also the WWF. We're doing all right this evening. <coughs> Apologies. I have got a bit of a cough still. As we move on to the next bag. Just Shields and Britannias. And again at the end of the video. Just to save you guys another 10-15 minutes. And me waffling on probably. I will go through all of the 50p coins again as we hit an EU 50p coin. Celebrating 25 years of the European Union. A lot of people like to call that one the Stars coin. Always nice to find. Again, first year that those downsized commemorative coins were released. We had the Britannia in 97, 98. The EU Stars and also the NHS coin made their way into circulation. So... What was I going on about? There's a question. Oh, we've got <laughs> we've got near the end. I completely forgot that I was what I was going on about. Looking through the coins again. 
At the end of the video, I'll look through all of the coins again, looking for any errors, any misprints, any rare dates, 2017 Shield, 2008 Britannia, maybe some of those not intended for circulation coins could well turn up. Sometimes I do miss commemoratives as well, there could be live chat going on now saying that I have missed a few, if that is the case, I'm sure I'll find them on the second time of looking through them all. If that is the case, if there's any rare coins, coins that I've missed, you will indeed see them at the start of the next coin hunt video, which again will be tomorrow. After this video, we'll look through £350 today, still another £150 I do have at home, we'll finish them off tomorrow, and then I'll get back down to the post office, or depending on if L's free, she'll get down and try and get another £250 or £500 on Wednesday to look through before the weekend. The rustling of the third final bag then. Here we go, let's see if we can find any more commemoratives. The good news is we have made it over 10, so I am more than happy with that. And also we have found some really nice coins as well as we pick up another. Let's hope we can finish in style as we pick up the Victoria Cross Heroics Act. Again, a lot of you will know, two Victoria Cross coins released in 2006. The other coin was indeed the Victoria Cross Awards medal. Two bags to go. Again, apologies if there may well be a couple of screaming children in the background. By the time this gets uploaded, it's probably going to be around 9 o'clock. But I am filming this at half 7. Don't worry. They'll definitely, fingers crossed, be asleep by now. So here we go then. Only three coins to go. And that is the end of the coin hunt. Just make sure that we haven't destroyed the area there. We've a dropped Britannia. And it looks like we've finished up with 11 commemorative coins. Maybe not the biggest coin haul ever, but a really enjoyable coin hunt and some nice finds along the way. Let's take a quick recap then and a look at the coins that we have found. Top left, Platinum Jubilee. We found the Peter Rabbit Full Face Half Whisker. The TOG. We found the Pride 50p. The Pannington Tower of London. The Victoria Cross. We also found the EU Stars. The Beatrix Potter. The Johnson's Dictionary. But the two stand out for me. I've got to give... The star find, I'm going to give it a joint star find. To the weightlifting and also the WWF World Wildlife Fund 50p coins. Get your comments for the star find in the live chat. And again, thank you for anyone that's popped in this evening. Sorry it is a little bit late, just been so busy as always. And again, we'll be back to a good routine on the channel come the start of next month. One more time again, just a huge shout out and a thank you to you all. You guys are amazing. And again, fingers crossed that this week you'll be able to find that commemorative coin that you might not have been able to find just yet for your collections at home. Have a blessed evening. A few review and evaluation videos to get the night owls through the night to come. Stay safe and as always, guys, thanks for watching.